Hey guys, Gunner here. I'm back. And today, I'm going to show you how to make Thanos' sword from Avengers Endgame. This doesn't have a name, I just it's a double-edged sword. I like to call it the Infinity Sword, but it's not the Infinity Sword. So yeah! So first I took a golf club and I took off the rubber grip on the end. Next I took a sheet of foam and cut it down about a uh, fourth of the end off. I uh, scaled my sword down to be more human-like because it's about 8 feet tall in uh, real life. Or in at least the movie life. I don't know. That's what the height is. I'll show a, a detailed uh, map of what I put on the inside, but basically I beveled the inside so the golf club, the golf club can fit more uh, snug on the inside and it's not protruding uh, in such a, I guess, big way. Here's the uh, inside now. I also beveled the edge on the actual uh, like curve of the sword edge. So I don't want to do two pieces of foam. I just want to have a one. This is what the sword looks like now with both of its edges cut out and uh, there's no sharpening on the sword. So it's raining out and I can't go outside so I ended up finishing it. Uh, this is the Thanos Infinity Sword, which I found. I don't even know what it's called. Is it an Infinity Sword or is it just his sword? I'm gonna call it. What should I call this? I'm just gonna call it. Yeah, I'm calling it an Infinity Sword. It's just it, this is an Infinity Sword. This is an Infinity Sword, right? <laughs> so, basically, what this uh, what I did here is I have a golf ball or a golf club in the center, and that. Is held a, is I guess uh, kind of two foam mats which I cut in half to make the blades and I beveled the edges with my knife. I didn't use a tape belt sander because I don't have one or a Dremel, so it's not gonna be straight. So I just opted it for it to look really like nasty and like broken down right here. But on the other side, it does look a lot better. That looks great. That doesn't look as great, but it still looks better. That looks really much better. And then right here is just the little hand guard things. And I have some hockey tape in there, which has skull and crossbones on. I'm going to paint that out in a second. But, yeah. So, it's all done for painting. Uh, it's all glued together. Um, yeah, I just got to paint it whenever I have the chance. Because it's raining outside right now. So, yeah. After a silver finish and black and gold outlining, your painting is done. And the sword is complete. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you want to see how I made my awesome Infinity Gauntlet, go check out the video I made last year. And, um, yeah, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.